Alright guys, this is another video lesson from Bijou on YouTube. So this is a prismatic right angle weave bracelet. I know it's not attached yet. That will be, um, I'll show you how to attach the other side in the video. So um, this is a prismatic right angle weave. So the what makes it prismatic is that it's got a couple other sides other than four, which, is, which would be cubic right angle weave. This one has three. Um, so it's got two three millimeter bike cones and a four millimeter bike cone right here. So that's what we're gonna start with. And the three, the difference with the threes and the fours here is, is the way that we placed them in there that makes this twisting pattern throughout. So it makes an excellent bracelet, really expensive one too because we use so many crystals in it. I think I use approximately um, 70 four millimeter bike cones and probably double the amount of that of the three millimeter bicones. I didn't do an exact count. This is, let's see. The one that I have here is an approximately seven and a half inch bracelet. So I will give a count of how many bicones I exactly used and I will post it in the um, notes underneath the video. So, but this is what we're gonna be learning today. Uh, so get out your three millimeter bicones and your four millimeter bicones. Keep in mind the four millimeter ones are the ones that are gonna twist throughout. So you know, however you want to highlight it, if you want to make the um, twist, you know, a metallic color, and the other one, a, you know, a base or something like that. I used rose gold two times as the three millimeter, and for the four millimeter, I used Pacific Opal. All right, so get out your stuff, and you're gonna need um, needles, thread, fire line, however you want to use it. Um, if you're going to use thread, then grab some wax and your bicones, your beading needle. All right, guys, so the stuff that we're going to need today is four millimeter bicones. Like I said, I'm using Pacific Opal. We're going to need um, three millimeter bicones, and I'm using um, rose gold, Swarovski. Wire protectors. Your magnetic clasp or clasp of your choice. Beading needle. Thread of your choice, I'm using 1G. And if you're gonna use thread, then you're gonna need conditioner or wax. So let's get started. They're so pretty, aren't they? Love bicones. So we're gonna work with a comfortable length of thread. Um, when you're doing a bracelet or something like this, um, you're gonna have to end up adding thread. And since we're working with bicones, probably good to start off with like a wingspan because bicones, as we know, sharp edges, crystals, glass. So they're gonna tear up our, um, our thread. So we're gonna want to um, probably redo the thread a couple of times. And I am using some um, beeswax to condition my thread. Makes it tangle less and all that other fun stuff. So we're gonna start off with our base. Like I said before, this is a prismatic right angle weave. So our base that we're gonna start off with is um, one four millimeter bicone and two three millimeter bicones. Gonna bring that to the end. Um, and let's leave about probably a six to eight inch tail would work. Um, we're gonna use that tail to weave through, to um, put on the other side of the clasp. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make go, go into a circle here. So we're going to go back through 4 millimeter and the two threes. To make a circle. There's our circle to start off with. And, you're, and some people are like, oh my god, I can see thread. Um, no worries. I mean, I did the same thing throughout this bracelet, and really, I mean, we can't really tell the thread that much. Just use a neutral color that will, you know, blend in with the actual color of the bead, so that way you're not, there's not a lot of worries about seeing thread in here. So, let's go around one more time until we meet our tail. And then we're just going to tie a knot with our tail thread and our working thread. Make sure everything stays together nice and happy. Okay. So let's continue on through the next bead. So we're going to continue on through the four millimeter bead. All right, guys, so exiting the four millimeter, I'm going to pick up a four millimeter bicone and two three millimeters. So if you don't know how right angle weave works, what we do is exiting the bead. We're going to go back through the bead that we're exiting here um, with three other beads to make a four-sided. So we're going to go back through the four millimeter that we just exited. So now we have our three sides on the bottom, which this is the four and the two threes. And then we have our four side that cooks up from, that's a side now. So that's the one that we're sharing on the bottom, the two, three, three millimeters, and the next four millimeter. So exiting that four millimeter, we're gonna go through the next three millimeter on the bottom. So this one, we already have a three millimeter, we have the four millimeter over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up another three. And a four millimeter. And this is gonna be the start of the spiral and it's gonna spiral in this direction like this. Oops. So we're gonna go through the four that's the shared four, and then through the three millimeter. So now we have, we still have our base of three underneath the side, the bottom side there. So that's two and the one. And now we have two sides. So there's the one side that we first start off with. Here's the second side that we added. And now we're going to go continue on to the last side. So the rule is for if you're doing cubic right angle weave, it's three, two, two, one. Those are the number of beads that you pick up. Three on the first one two on the next side that you're creating, two on the third side that you're creating, and one to close it up. So since we're doing a prismatic right angle weave and it's three-sided, it's gonna be three, two, one. So this is the last side, so now we're gonna add one on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue through the next three millimeter that's on the base.
up through the side three millimeter from the first side we created. And we're gonna pick up a three millimeter. There we go. So now we're gonna go down through the last side that we created, the side of two. Through our bottom. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way over to the top. Through the side and up through our new top or which would be now our new bottom row. So if we focus in on this, we can see that we have the three here. So here's our four millimeter bicone right here. And here are the two threes. Uh, one of them I have a string coming out of. All right, so we just cr create our first pro units to make one stack. We have our two three millimeters and our one four millimeter. So we're at the one that's just past the four millimeter. That's the one that we're exiting. And so we can see the way that the spiral is gonna start to spiral, it's gonna go this way. So because of that, this three millimeter is gonna have the four millimeters on it. So what we're gonna do Exiting that three millimeter, we're gonna pick up two four millimeters. That's for the side of the spiral and for the top, and a three millimeter. Remember, this is our first unit. So three, two, two, one. So this is the one that, excuse me, three, two, one, because it's a three-sided um, prismatic right angle weave. So we're gonna pick up three beads. So exiting that three millimeter, we're gonna go back through it We're going to continue through the next four millimeter. Now we already took care of the four millimeters for this round, so we're going to pick up two three millimeters. Go through the side four millimeter and the bottom four millimeter. And now this is the one, and it's also going to be a three millimeter. So we're gonna go through our, the next three millimeter that's on the bottom. A side three millimeter. From the first side we created. Pick up a three millimeter. Down through the last side three millimeter. From last side we created. Continue through the bottom one. And now we're making our way up to the top again. So through the side again. See the spiral starting to form? Continue through the four millimeter now to start the next side. So we just finished our next unit for the pra, and we're doing the spiral, and you can see that it's already starting to form the spiral here. So we stepped up and we're exiting the four millimeter now. So because we're exiting the four millimeter and the way that the spiral's heading, it's heading this way, we're gonna pick up two, three millimeters, and one four millimeter. Go through the four millimeter. Travel into the next three millimeter on the base. Pick 
take up two three millimeters travel through the side three millimeter and through the three millimeter on the base go through the next three millimeter this is the one that we're going to add one bead to through the four millimeter and remember we only added one four millimeter so far on this round so we got to add our next one this is going to be the one that's on the top so we're going to grab one four millimeter go down through the side three millimeter through the base three millimeter Up through the side four millimeter and into the next three millimeter so we fully rotated it now from the start so now we're just going to continue on it's going to be the same thing repeating over and over again so we're exiting this three millimeter now and again you can tell the way the spirals heading it's heading this way and there's our three two the two three millimeters and the one four millimeter so exiting that three millimeter we're going to pick up three three millimeters Travel back through the three millimeter that we're exiting to make the one side. Continue through the next three millimeter on the base. So, exiting the next three millimeter on the base, we're going to pick up two four millimeters. The reason we're doing that is because we're hooking up to the edge of the spiral now. We have the one that goes on the side and then the one that goes on the top. So exiting the bottom three millimeter, we're gonna pick up two four millimeters, go into the side three millimeter to hook up to the other side, and then the three millimeter on the base. All right, into the next base one, which would be the four millimeter now. This is where we're going to be adding our one bead. So up through the side three millimeter from the first side that we made. Pick up a three millimeter. Go through the side four millimeter from the last side that we just added. The four millimeter on the base. The side three millimeter. And then into the next speed, which would be next speed of the new top row, which would be now the bottom row, which would be a three millimeter. Okay, so we're gonna start another um, row again. So what we got is the two, the base here. So here's the two, three millimeters and the four millimeter. So again, our spiral is rotating like this. So exiting this three millimeter, we're gonna pick up two, four millimeters and one three millimeter. We're going to go 
back through three millimeter. I stopped the frame and repositioned the light so it may look better now. All right, so exiting that, we're gonna go into the next four millimeter on the base. Don't get caught with your tail. Since we already did our two millimeter, our two four millimeters for this round, for this row, we're, the rest of it's gonna be three millimeters. So that was three, and now this is two. So we're gonna pick up two three millimeters. And we're gonna go through the side four millimeter and the base four millimeter. Then into the last base one, which would be a three millimeter. Up into the first, from the first side, into the three millimeter from the first side. Now we're ready to pick up our last three millimeter, because here's one, two, three for the um, side. And so we need to add our last one, which would be one, three millimeter. So. down into the side three millimeter from the last, the second side that we added. Pull that in. So from the base, we're gonna go into the side and then into the four millimeter. First spiral. All right, so looking here, here's our base again, four millimeter and two three millimeters. Exiting the four millimeter, we are going to pick up two, three millimeters. And one, four millimeter. And travel back through four millimeter. Into the next three millimeter. We are away from the spiral, so we're going to pick up two three millimeters. Go into the three millimeter from the side and the base three millimeter. And we're going to travel into the last three millimeter, which is right here. That's on the base. Up through the side. which for this time will be a four millimeter. And we're gonna pick up a four millimeter. Since for this round, we only added one four millimeter. So down into the three millimeter, to the three millimeter in the base. Up into the four millimeter. to the next three millimeter. All right, because our spiral is spiraling this way and we're exiting this three millimeter here, this one we're gonna pick up three, three millimeters to start this side. Okay. 
travel back through the 30 millimeter. Into the next three millimeter on the base, or the next bead on the base, whichever if it's a three or four. We're right next to the four millimeter of where it's continuing the spiral, so we're going to pick up two four millimeters. Travel into the side three millimeter and the base three millimeter. Into the next three, the next bead over, which is a four millimeter. This is our last side of this round, so we have one, two, three beads. So we need to add our fourth one, which would be a three millimeter. Because remember, up on the top, we should see two three millimeters and one four millimeter. If you don't see that every time that you start a new row, then you know that you've messed up somewhere. All right, so into the side, into the base, up through the side, and into the next three millimeter to start the next row. So now we're going to go over how I added the clasp on the um, prismatic red angle weave uh, crystal spiral bracelet. Um, and we're going to use um, wire protectors, which are these little horseshoe shaped things. So um, what they do is when you go through it, um, the wire or the thread is going to lay into a channel, which is right there. You see the channel? Um, and so that way it protects it from when the clasp is rubbing a clasp or jump ring, whichever you attach to it, is rubbing back and forth on it. So, exiting from our three, we're going to be exiting the four millimeter by cone. We're going to pick up our wire protector and we're going to go through the horseshoe shape of the wire protector. And then, because my brace is already at a seven and a half inch and I don't need, want to add any more length to it than I need to. I'm just going to put this through the clasp, the wire protector through the clasp. If you need to add more length, or you would like to add more length, or be able to change the clasp if you want to without breaking the bracelet, then add jump rings to the wire protectors before um, adding the clasp on. So then we're just going to follow that horseshoe shape with our thread here. into the second side of the wire protector. And then we're going to go directly across from the bead that we're exiting into the bead. Next bead over. And then we're just going to straighten this out. like that. Okay. And you're going to repeat this thread path a couple of times. So, exiting the bead. You're going to go up through the wire protector. It's kind of fidgety doing this and trying to see at the same time.
Make sure your string stays in that channel. And then you're just going to, after you get it secure, you're just going to tie it off with a couple half hitch knots. Just gonna finish it off by tying a couple half hitch knots and trying not to get the needle to attach to the clasp that is magnetic. That's it. Bracelet is done. That's it. Bracelet is done. Thank you guys so much for watching again and uh, Bijou, the Bijou crew, uh, wishes that you keep creating. Thank you.